We got our Ken Rodriguez and Buck Langford with the best view in the house. Ken and Buck, take it away. Well, it's rainy and cold, but there, but there is sunshine beaming in our hearts. We finally have a championship, Buck, after 23 years. It has been a long time, and both you and I know just how long it's been because we felt every painful loss over the last 21, wait, way longer than 23. And I was just thinking it was only a couple of years ago we were in our same Fox 5 outfits in the cold and the rain, but outside of Houston, and little did we know the heartbreak we had experienced then, and what a difference today is. Yeah, 28-3, you had to bring that up, didn't you? <laughs> well, you know, you talk about a rainy day, it's not going to rain on the parade today. The atmosphere here is electric. The crowd is huge. We had the governor just take the stage a couple of minutes ago. Also, a mayor. The Atlanta mayor's here. here. A lot of dignitaries, a lot of big wigs, and just a lot of excited people. And I was watching the parade on the Fox5Atlanta.com, and it, it was really a lot of fun to watch and how excited everybody was. And just when you think, and listen, we, we came to the soccer game pretty late in life, and uh, to see the excitement is really... It's heartwarming. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you talk about what the city was like in 1995 when the Braves won the World Series. We thought maybe then that was the first of many. We were going to have championship after championship. But we know what happened in 96 in the World Series. And we know what happened in the Super Bowl in 98. We know what happened in the World Series oh, in 99. Listen, it's a heartbreak <laughs> after a heartbreak after a heartbreak. So this has been such a long time coming. And even if you are new to the sport of soccer, you have to embrace this. But in watching them do it, you know, we, we've, uh, you mentioned the failures about a team that fell short that didn't finish a drill. Our guys came out Saturday night and just put it to Portland. I mean, hard. I mean, they were relentless. The, the ball seemed to be in the Portland end zone for most of the game. It was it was just went after them, and that was cool to watch us burying somebody from the beginning. Yeah, they controlled the first half of the game. The, the, the ball was on one side of the field pretty much the entire first half of the game, and you had a sense then that there was no way they were going to be denied, especially with this place just so electric. I understand the players are making their way in now uh, to the stage to be recognized. Uh, and, you know, it, in fact, let's check back in with uh, Justin Felder. He's got more from his location. Justin? Number 12. Hey, guys, we're down right next to where the fans are, and you can hear behind me. They are introducing the players. They had Joseph Martinez, Miguel Amiron just moments ago. Huge ovations for these guys. And this is a chance to celebrate. Also a little bit of a chance to say goodbye. You talk about Miguel Almiron, number 10 for Atlanta United, kind of the straw that stirs the drink. 14, Widely reported he's going to be heading to Europe after this season, which is, you know, kind of a promotion for him, and it's great for Atlanta United. It says to those next generations of players, hey, come here. We can send you to the biggest leagues around the world. Nothing official yet, but a lot of fans where I was standing on the parade route, really excited to see number 10, Miguel Almiron. I'll get out of the way. I'm going to give you kind of our view right here as we're on the edge of the crowd. He hasn't been introduced yet either. Another guy that's going to get one final goodbye, Tata Martino, the head coach for Atlanta United, the only head coach that this team has ever known. He's leaving after this season. That much we know. We don't know where he's heading. A lot of reports out there saying he's going to take the Mexico national soccer team job, which, hey, that's pretty cool to go from Atlanta United to one of the biggest national teams in the entire world. That is quite an accomplishment. We just know he won't be here next year. He is a popular guy. Uh, Argentinian has managed all over the world, including in Argentina, including other national teams. Incredibly accomplished. And listen. Talking to players, talking to fans, he's beloved. I'll, I'll tell you, as we've gotten to know Tata a little bit, he's funny. He tells jokes a lot. He speaks through a translator, but he'll he'll throw in uh, some jokes in English every now and then that'll have the folks in the media laughing. So fans, players, certainly going to miss what Tata Martino brings to this team. As we are here live right outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the Home Depot Backyard the pep rally for the Atlanta United MLS Cup celebrating it. We got Arthur Blank out here. We got the team uh, staff. As you can see, we're looking at the players coming out, high-fiving the crowd right there. I think I think that's our guy George Bello, if I'm right. I'm kind of far away, so I can't say totally sure. But one real cool thing, George Bello, if that was him, again, I'm, I'm 50, 60 yards away. Uh, a homegrown guy, one of a number of homegrown Atlanta area natives on this team. 
and a lot of the future of this team are young guys that grew up around here, really coming up through that Atlanta soccer culture. So we're here live outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Big ovation right there as Julian Gressel now going to come out on stage, wave into the crowd. My goodness, he was the one holding the MLS Cup as they came down the street, as they came down Andrew Young where I was standing uh, for the parade route. And Julian Gressel, I spoke to him on the field right after the MLS Cup, minutes after they got the cup handed to them. And he said, listen, this is all for the city. This is all for Atlanta. He's a guy that's really embraced this city, uh, playing college soccer here in the States, but originally being from Germany, Julian Gressel. And a, a player that could be a fixture on this team for a long time to come, very well liked already amongst Atlanta United supporters. As they continue introducing the roster here at the Home Depot backyard just outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the pep rally for the MLS Cup winning Atlanta United. I heard Andrew. I wasn't sure if that was Andrew Carlton, our guy from Powder Springs, as I'll step back in here reporting live at the Home Depot backyard. It's exciting out here. I can't, I'm not real good at estimates of, uh, of how many folks are here. Apparently we have Santa Claus here. Eric, Santa is here. My good, there are several Santa Uniteds, uh, not just one. Santa, how are you? I'm great, I'm great, thank you. We thank here. you for the early Christmas present as well. Absolutely, my pleasure, my that, pleasure. That's the guy who provided it right there. It's a, it's a great scene out here uh, in the Home Depot backyard. Fans are filling in, they're still doing the introductions right now. We've seen the MLS Cup, we've seen Ladies the supporters and, and their flags. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Let me get out of the way because the Cup's going to come out on stage right now. Uh, it sounds like Michael Parkhurst with... The MLS Cup is going to make its way out on stage. I'll let you watch. He's kind of back there with the team. A lot of fans here, obviously, getting crowded at the Home Depot backyard as we have Michael Parkhurst, the captain, the defender. And it sounds like we have Tata Martino making his way out onto the stage right now. I'll tell you what, one thing about Tata, he is not somebody as he walks out there with the big sledgehammer getting ready to hammer in the golden spike. There he is, Tata Martino, Atlanta United head coach. He's soaking it up, but I'll say one thing about Tata. Not somebody who seeks the spotlight, but he knows they love him. I'll let you watch this. ATL hammering in the golden spike here reporting live at the Home Depot backyard. That was Tata Martino, Atlanta United head coach. Oh, hammering in the golden spike and 